Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're finding the intersection point between lines J and K. Easiest way to do this is to do, find the two equations of the lines, set them equal to each other, and then that'll give you your point that you're looking for. So y-intercept of negative 8 means that it goes to the point of 0, negative 8. We know that it goes through 4, 4. So we're going to be looking for here is the slope. Again, we're trying to get into the form y, m, y equals mx plus b. I think that's just the easiest to work with in this situation. You could use other forms if you'd like. Delta y over delta x. We set this one to x1, y1, x2, y2, just to get our variables in check. We get y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Just plugging in your 4 minus negative 8 over 4 minus 0. And this is, of course, equal to 4 plus 8. Negatives cancel over 4. It's equal to 12 over 4 equals 3. So y equals 3x. What is b? b is the y-intercept, which just straight up gives you it's negative 8. Now, that's the, graph, that's the equation of line j. Now, line k, we're given these two points. It's going to be a little bit similar, except we're not given the y-intercept, so it's going to do one extra step, which is okay. If we do x1, y1, x2, y2, same sort of thing. Delta y over delta x is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Plugging in, we get negative 3 minus 5 over 5 minus 1. That is going to give you negative 8 over 4 is equal to negative 2. Now we're still looking for b. We're going to do that by plugging in one of these points into x and y in this equation. 5 equals negative 2 times 1 plus b. Now we can solve for b. 5 equals negative 2 plus b. Adding 2 to both sides. These 2's cancel out, which gives us b is equal to 7. So y is equal to negative 2x plus 7. Here we have y is equal to 3x plus 8. And we can use elimination to get rid of y. 0 is equal to negative 2x minus 3x is negative 5x plus 7 plus 8 because it's minus negative 8. It's equal to plus 15. Bringing this up here, 0 is equal to negative 5x plus 15. If we add 5x to both sides, these cancel, we get 5x is equal to 15, dividing by 5 on both sides, we get x is equal to 3. So we know that the point of intersection, x is going to be equal to 3, and we could solve for y, but since we're actually looking for the x value, all we have to know that is, is that x is equal to 3. Since that is equal to s, we're looking for s, and that's going to be our answer. So always thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.